Good day. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Are you considering an EV? Are you? Oh, I'm going to go. I live in Glasgow, so I'm going to go to Ride MG. Ride MG? Yeah. This is a GWM. It is too. Go with more. <laughs> I think they've stolen a few of their cues from Mini. Now, apparently there's no word in the Chinese language for copyright. Jeremy Clarkson said that on a show about 10 years ago. And it's still true. <laughs> Look, I mean, I think it'll be popular just for the price alone. And I think the Germans should be worried with their car industry because I think China has decided we're going to go for this yeah. one now. Oh yeah, that's how they're going to win the war, mate. Oh, Jesus, don't <laughs> mention do that. Don't dominate. Gone are the days when EVs were deemed too pricey for the average Joe. The tide is turning with the arrival of many Chinese EVs. After MG and BYD, GWM has just released the Aura, boasting a base price of just $35,000 before on-road costs. So let's see what your EV can get you for $35,000. So I'm here now looking at the Aura from GWM, and I must say the Chinese manufacturers are giving the Europeans a bloody big run. The Chinese are all over this city. I don't know if they're getting subsidized or what the hell is going on, but these cars are less than $40,000. Let's have a look at the build quality. It does look rather kind of cute. There's even a bit of pinching off the old Porsche look. Now, let me go inside. Keep in mind, we're not driving this all across from Sydney to Melbourne. You know, it's got the old uh, Toyota Corolla feel in terms of size. No cheap uh, vinyl smell or anything like that. Finish is actually... You know, it doesn't have a cheap feel to it. As I said again, I'm very impressed in the price because you think about it, if you now put this with solar and you drive for free, you're literally getting around for 10 years on less than 40 grand. And it's not a bad looking car, so I think it'll be quite popular with young people. And there we go. Look, I'd say they will do well in the sales. I mean, I can't, unfortunately, because we're at the show, they don't really let you turn the damn thing on because otherwise people would drive up. This is interesting. So we've got little flick buttons. I have no idea what they do. For a $40,000 car EV, but I'd say the really restriction is it is a city runabout. I don't think you want to take that to Sydney, Newcastle on a daily commute. With the 300k range, you're probably a little bit pressed. But then again, I think that's just something maybe in two, three years, time i wouldn't be surprised that even the smaller cars have a range of 400 and then we get to 500 i'm pretty sure that's the development so my overall verdict if you're after a budget car and an ev at the same time it stacks up well against the mg this must be the sporty version if you look at the wheels etc Good day. Hello, sir. How are you? Good. Are you considering an EV, are you? I'm absolutely. Are you not a ref head anymore, are you? No, I'm not well, at all. I think they've stolen a few of their cues from Mini with this car. Would the Chinese agree? do sometimes copy stuff. I had noticed no. that. No. <laughs> apparently there's no word in the Chinese language for copyright. Jeremy Clarkson said that on a show about 10 years ago. The expression copyright infringement doesn't translate terribly well into Mandarin. See, even that spoiler is very mini John Cooper works. You used to have a mini, did you? You uh, used to love minis? I love minis, yeah. Okay. yeah. Italian name. job, Italian job. Look, I mean, I think it'll be popular just for the price alone. And I think the Germans should be worried with their car industry because I think China has decided we're going to go for this yeah. one now. Oh, yeah, that's how they're going to win the war, mate. Oh, Jesus, don't <laughs> no, mention that. Don't no, dominate. A few Chinese rockets, bit of boom, boom in the valley, but that's it. I've been to China, they're really into the EVs. But apparently in America, Americans have discouraged Chinese manufacturers. They're not allowed to come. They don't, they don't like them coming because of security and they won't give them the $7,500 federal government rebate. I don't want any of the Chinese stuff. Anyway, uh, look, I mean, if you're keen for a cheap price, uh, that car is certainly a yeah. good runaround for the city. But yeah. do you think 300 k's is a long enough range? Uh, I think it's fine. For a city boy, I'm a city boy. Other ones are too big. This is about the right size for me. So are you seriously thinking of buying one? Oh, I'm going to go. I live in Glasgow, so I'm going to go to Ride MG. Ride MG? Yeah. Does MG yeah. sell the same? I thought it's a different... No, it's MG. This is not an MG. This is a GWM. It is too. Go with more. <laughs> oh, great war motors. That's right. <laughs> You're actually on the wrong stand. I'm on the wrong stand. That's all right.
So he's actually thought he's on the MG stand and this is an MG car and I've kind of politely corrected you now and I did it very politely in a way that'll make you look not silly. You did it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still like the car or are you looking for an MG now? No, no, I prefer the Aura. The MG, MG4, I'm going to drive. Right. Uh, Styling-wise, I don't like no, it. No, it looks very square like a box, isn't it? Mm, no, it looks, like, like looks a, too folded metal, creased metal. I, I like the curvy metal shape. But don't no. you, if you go, let's say, to your mates and you play cards and you turn yeah. up on a, with a Chinese car, aren't they going to give you a hard time? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there are some good Vietnamese cars coming now, the Vins. Is that right? Yeah, I'm, I've just been to Vietnam. There's electric everywhere. They've got their own EV Yeah, they got their own well. EV car out of Vietnam. Right? They might know, come here too. That might be $29.90. Wow. It was very lovely to meet you, you too, and I, I'm really happy that I've been able to put you on the yeah. right path so yeah. that you're not going to the wrong dealer. <laughs> yeah, I would have gone to BMG, where's the Aura Cat? <laughs> That's right. oh, we've, got a, we've got a cat in the backyard. No, but no Aura Cat. As you know, they're called Aura Cats in other markets. Why is that? That's the name. It, when it was first released, or a cat, or good cat, I think it, a Chinese translation. Because the cat, cat, you know, you know those cats that sit on the Chinese shop and wave at you. Yeah. Yeah, they bring good luck. So that's, that's why, possibly for that's that. That's why they. But for Australian market, they realise that won't sell. But Aura has got a good aura about it. Uh, <laughs> if you ever go to a comedy show, I think you could sell tickets. Thank you. Is he funny? You picked him for his humour, did you? Yes. Yeah. And my good looks. I know what it is. No, no, I'm smart. But I'd got the wrong dealership. <laughs> but you know what? You took it with humour. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.